She has struggled to command it at times, and she has walked at least one batter in all 11 appearances. Floated down the left side oh. and off the glove of Emma Kinnear, 500, 8 for 16. Wait. Pre-conference games, rather. So safe to say they've been pitching quite active out of the gate for the season. Count. And she rips one through the left side between Black and Saleo. And a two-out single in the top of the first. Tracked well. Just poked into that 5-6 hole. And now Jada Kearney. Right fielder for Georgia. Here's Offers at the first pitch. Yeah, big swing at the... Uh, one homer every five innings or so. Yeah. I mean, that just proves that you're going to give up a home run again if you're a strikeout pitcher, depending on who you are. Kearney fights it off. Fouling off away. And spoiled again. This is a pretty good attempt against Ohio State. Half her home runs came in one game. That was back on February 10th against Ohio State. She hit three of them. I'm hoping she goes up and down the hands again. And that one popped softly towards the Georgia. Production, as well as a star behind the plate. We see her in the outfield tonight, but expect to see her try. Coming off of a 10 inning streak, no runner, Blue Devils uniform back in 2019, and they didn't. You're in high school. I don't think Thank she was, pardon. yeah. She was one of the lucky. So ball and two strikes. Round to the right side, scooped up by Kuma. And the backhand flip, pretty good defensive efforts today. Or this season, Georgia no different. And it's a familiar group. We mentioned uh, Dallas Goodnight transfer from Alabama in center. And you just saw him. So now Mallory Black, who's already hit four home runs this year. That's top. Expected to see Black leading off, but Historically, for the Jackets in this season, whenever they're spit up or spit on that curveball we just saw. Yep. Walters 2 1. It was five innings against Georgia pitching and struck out just once in that 12 3 victory last year. Black slaps this one. Another chance for Kuma. She slings to Fields. A 1 2 mid -tap. She's not making an adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> Tip my cap to you. <laughs> that first at base, yeah, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I don't blame her. And she sprays this one over the reach of Saleo into center for a leadoff single. Bulldogs. Bulldogs, so can't really go wrong with anybody that you put in the circle. And the count at 2-0. and oh. Kuma second in the SEC with those 20 RBI as well. One of three preseason All-SEC selections in the Bulldog lineup. Well, Kearney definitely did a number on the pitch count. Penn State. Harrison High School. Games. Just off the plate, would fought off. I Down and in, ball four. I to load him up. Nobody out. And Nelliman, what he approaches. Freshman Marissa Miller drives the gap. It's all the way to the wall. Davis is in. Kuma scores. Much down the middle, a little bit outside. There's a that. Quick. You can usually tell based off of her presence on the mound. She could use a strikeout. Not going to get it on that pitch. Ground ball. Saleo's only plays at first. A little bit out in front on that inside pitch, so it's clear that the Bulldogs are a little bit off on their timing. Squeeze bunt. And now. Definitely a squeeze in theory. More of a wineses uh, because if there's an overthrow, then it's going to roll to the wall. Lined in the right field. 
Here comes Miller, and good night. The throw goes to second. It's a two-run double for Chambly. Good P Chandler Dennis relieving Blake Nelliman, making her 11th appearance of the season, fifth out of the bullpen. Senior from Sewanee, Georgia, facing the Bulldogs for the first time in her Yellow Jacket career, began at Michigan. Right-hander, wearing 44. You know, but I feel a rock-solid defense behind you, so focus on just giving them something to work with. On the first pitch, Mosley grounds back to first. Team. I mean, I think I called a game where Blake and I think instead of trying to exceed expectations every time, you just kind of go back, go back to the fundamentals, which is. And when you have a player like Allen, who, especially this season so far, I mean, tied for the lead, got a good. She's she's not trying to, you know, do too much, and end up striking out. Hard hit grounder to Kuma. Like, right? Like, when you're hitting well, you aren't in there being defensive, just trying not to strike out. You're in there to get the best pitch you can. Um, yeah, I mean, if I'm waiting for her to throw me a screwball that is fat over the plate, and I'm going to hit it with everything I... You know what Davis comes to mind? When you get a pinch hit... It's difficult to shut down the Georgia offense this year. Well, and that's certainly, I mean, you, you have that. Shit. The biggest thing about. Ooh, nice stab by Hughes on the forehand. <laughs> off, the, off the pull side of a lefty. <laughs> that's why that happened. No, that is like they are able to identify pitch sequences and make smart decisions. Has me on, I beg your pardon. That was a nice pitch off the plate right there from Chandler Dennis. Rolled over, Saleo charges, throws, late infield single for. Forced to dribble left side of the field. Anything Saleo could have done differently? Though? These lineups, you'd be silly not yeah. to have a lot of Georgia <laughs> not seem to figure out outside pitches from Dennis. So I'd be curious what they prepared for when they prepared to see her and what, you know, that's gotta be so fun. <laughs> O2 on the weak tapper. Fittingly, it's to Dennis, and she throws out clock that Waters has issued this year now in over 47 innings. And you see. And Love to see Grace Connolly stand in and shake things up for the Jaladin. Brown ball pulled foul. There we go. Swing and a miss, and look at the raw emotion. She tried right. A mix and match and try and find a way to test. And then it doesn't hurt that maybe they're a little less scouted, and so people do let off the gas a little bit. Inside. Like so. And just beyond the reach, gaps in foul territory. Yeah. And a liner right. I thought it was going to clear the wall, too. That would have been exciting. Yeah. <laughs> oh. be the biggest challenge for Walters in terms of finding a good spot for a strike. Tapped. And the payoff from Walters. Spoiled. Hitters would chase that. 3-2. Lofted into left, and Goodnight makes the catch. The shutout came on in the second inning and has given up just two runs. And Come in, keep her composure. Did give up two runs, but has kept things relatively quiet. I beg your pardon. This is Jaden Goodwin pinch hitting for Armistead from the left side. All in all, but all in all, you know, it's not really a whole lot that the Bulldogs could do differently. Coming into a game like this, they've worked their counts really well. They've had a good approach at the plate and stuck to it. Made adjustments when they needed to.
It, well, that's what's so important about Ray of where hits are going. Mm -hmm. But that was clear even in the first inning when any time contact was made or foul, balls were fouled off, they were opposite side of the field, swing. Base. But nobody's ever made that joke. <laughs> yeah, but not that. It was so discreet. Bunt popped up and beyond the reach of Hunter as it lands on the Georgia. Brown ball eats up Saleo. Everybody's safe. I thought. They still put pretty good contact on it and foul it off. Might have been the most entertaining part. Plan, stick to it, no matter what. Trust that it's gonna work out. Trust that. Time to break it way open here in the top of the sixth. Instead of having to reestablish your timing. When at third, good night at second, Mosley at first. Ooh, good tall order. Line drive to right, caught by Dobbins. Good one in to score, good night. What a way to make an adjustment. And a ripped line drive into right. Good night scores. And Mosley's trying for third. She is safe. Hi. But senior and blowing up the record book. Ooh, good. Ripped foul. And a line drive into right. Lead off single for Cal. She advanced the base runners. Hitter. And a shallow fly. Kuma backing up. She has had so many chances tonight. That's her second put out. She also has four assists. She's been all over the diamond defensively. Yeah, the defense for the Bulldogs has looked really, really solid tonight. That can't hurt when you're Walters in the circle knowing that deep. Well, a lot on the line in this at bat. And the runners move up to second and third. And 2-0. And 2-0. Ground ball. Backhand chance. Armistead. Fields completes the out. in Georgia. Sixth consecutive shutout tying a school record. And Shelby Walters with her six scoreless extends the streak to 39 straight innings without allowing a run. Sam, that was an impressive performance, not just in the circle, not just in the field, but also in the batter's box for Georgia, a complete win. I mean, all around fundamental textbook softball, Walters throwing well to both sides of the plate, working her counts really well. Her defense was there to back her up, shaded properly when she's hitting her spots. Her defenders are able to scoop up balls and get outs. And then last year, as Georgia wins their sixth.